What up guys, Taylor here bringing you our 11th episode for the channel. Um, so, <laughs> the first thing you might notice, we're not where we left off at, so I just spent a good uh, about 10 minutes or so trying to put together where we're supposed to go. Uh, I went past like that one town, uh, Wasaria, and it was just kind of like a dead spot there. Um, there, yeah, there was like some leaves or something we have to get past, so... Um, come to find out I didn't pay attention at all um, so where he said the gym leaders back in Siena City I'm assuming we're needing to fight um, the gym leader there to actually get served for the stuff to brush the leaves away so that's why I have Marlin I had to use him to fly because I was searching around for a good 10 minutes trying to figure out where to go and uh, I had to use Steve for rock climb or something um, so the only thing we missed is I grabbed um, I found a leaf stone and a fire stone while I was running around uh, that's pretty much it and then um, I went ahead and used our Pokemon Center at the uh, Wisteria City so that we'll be ready for the uh, gym leader um, all right let's go ahead um, we're gonna start off now I'm gonna deposit Marlin I might just keep Steve for this one um, so I'm planning to probably not keep Steve um, we're probably gonna keep him in the box but um I had to use him for rock climb. I'm thinking we're going to hang on to him for a minute just for like as an HM kind of slave guy. But um, I'm probably going to knock him off the team here uh, here soon. Because I think this egg's probably going to be a Togepi since we got that shiny stone conveniently with the egg. So I'm assuming it'll probably be a Togepi. And um, we'll use him and just replace kind of uh, Steve. Alright, let's go ahead and we're going to stock up on some potions. Oh god, yeah, we don't want that many. Uh, let's get five more potions and let's see if we can try to take on this gym leader I'm really worried because we haven't been able to get a lot of XP to really fight this gym that's a trainer school but um, I'm hopeful though I, I think we can do okay Garrick has returned it was too quiet without him so yeah, last episode we um, didn't really cover that. Um, so yeah, last episode we beat Garrick, or not? We didn't. We beat Nate in the um, tournament, and we got a uh, HMO2 fly and the shiny stone and Wasaria City. And now uh, the Nate got the Garrick guy to come back to um, his gym. Um, so it says he's the Illusion Master. So I'm going to assume he is psychic. This will be a good time to probably use Oak. So we. Chess or Quilladen and uh, the other guy don't really. Oh god. Ah, that kind of hurts my eyes. This is interesting though. It's like an illusion of the town. Huh. This is pretty sweet actually. Yeah, we're gonna use Oak. Let's see if we knock out these psychic guys. They have six faces but are nose and mouth free. They have 21 eyes but still cannot see. What's the answer? Hmm. Six faces without any noses. What? And 21 eyes? Like a, sp a spider or something? I really don't know. Oh, he's gonna be dark type, not a. Uh, probably not psychic. Um. I'm okay with dark type though. Um. We have uh, fighting and stuff to handle that pretty well. Um. Especially our Quilladen. Uh, let's go ahead and keep Oak in since he's about to level up. Um, what are their levels? 28. Okay, so they're not too low of a level. Um, let's really hope we can do okay. This is going to be tough. We're gonna, I'm going to fight all the trainers to get us as much XP as possible, I think. Because we are going to need it for fighting this gym leader, I'd say. Oh, come on. Don't cheese. Don't cheese. I love cheese, but not that kind of cheese. Come on, Oak. Come on, Oak. Come on, Oak. The all my... I was hyping you up, and this is what you do? Yeah! Okay, the hype worked. He just... He was a little confused for a minute, but he... He realized what was happening. There we go. Oak at 34 now. Sweet. Alrighty. Gentleman Harkin. Yes, dice. Oh. Pfft. Very clever guy. I didn't even think about that. Dice. That makes sense. Alrighty, um, let's go ahead and I want to bring Spike in because I really like to get Chestnut. If we can get Chestnut for the uh, leader, I think we'll be okay unless he has a, like a Houndoom or uh, something crazy. Other than that, I think we should be okay with our Dre Punches uh, Chestnut. Ooh, Umbreon. Ooh. 
What's your guys' favorite um, evolution? Uh, I this I bring this up because Umbreon is kind of my favorite. Um, I think Flareon though might be my full-on favorite though. I uh, I just love Flareon style. Just really cool. But Umbreon and Flareon are definitely a real close right there. Just real close tie. Yeah, Spike breaking through. He's breaking through, ladies and gents. Let's see, man. Umbreon's so bulky. So bulky. Hopefully he gets some good XP from him, though. Um, I don't think Bite would even kill. Let's go ahead and just Needle Arm. Man, Spike breaking through those confusions. These confusions mean nothing. Some good XP too. You agree though, right? What did she even say? I forgot. <laughs> um, Alright, let's fight the old man. You're the third person to challenge this gym since Garrick's return. Dang. Looks like a lot of people want to fight Garrick. Gamer Jodel. Ooh, Ponyard. Oh... <laughs> Ooh. Oh my. Oh my. Let's take this drain punch. Take the drain punch. I love one shot, one kill. It's just so nice. Don't have to sit there and let them heal and confuse you. Just just get get rid of them. Um, he's dark too, isn't he? I think. Does he go dark at Nuzleaf? Oh, he most certainly does. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Yeah, we shouldn't... I don't think we'll have too much of a problem with this gym. The only thing I'm really concerned about would be um, going up against a Houndoom. But, I mean, we could still bring in our Nidorina and Double Kick. But um, I'd really like to get our... Uh, Chestnut will be the main one, though. Because he's about to level evolve and get uh, Fighting Stab and stuff. And that's going to really help. Alright, Ponyard is down. We are super close to 35. Are you strong enough for Garrick's though? Or Garrick though? I, th I think so. Um, uh, see, is this the last dude? I'm the richest trainer in the Sienna City Gym. Good for you. Go ahead and fork over all that money though, and I beat you. Rich boy Elfin. Poochiena. This reminds me of uh, the guy in Ruby and Sapphire, uh, the rich kid you fight like at the beginning, Nezapuchi in it. Okay, we need to actually watch our drain punches. I noticed um, we only have like five left. Um, I need to start dropping some needle arms on these guys. Okay, Mighty Anna. Uh Please don't intimidate me. Please don't. Yay! Alright, let's go ahead and needle arm. We need to save our uh, drain punches for the... Uh, the last dude, I think. Yeah, go ahead and sleuth me. Go ahead and sleuth it up. Go ahead. Take that needle arm, son. Alright, we are at 35. Maybe evolves at 35, even. Uh, ooh, seed bomb. Lovely. Okay. Uh, what does it do? 80. 80 damage, 100 accurate. It may make the foe flinch. I think the 20 damage is worth the, the not flinching. Let's go ahead and get a seed bomb. Alright, sweet. And last guy, we got shift tree. Oh crap, should have switched. Um, Cause he does, I guess we got to drop a drain punch. Cause seed bomb will do absolutely nothing. Ooh, the one shot too. Sweet. Alright. That was an XP too, dang. But not the strong. <laughs> no, you are not. Dang, still not evolving. Okay. I guess it is 36 then. Oh, now the real gym begins. Do we have an ether or anything? Nope. Awesome. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and... Uh, crap, no. Let's go ahead and bring in Elizabeth, and, um, wait, why can't I go in the gym? Oh, lord. Do you have to push all the buttons? 
Huh. Let's see. Maybe you just have to push them all. I hope there's not like a puzzle with it. Oh. <sighs> it's a freaking puzzle. A freaking puzzle. No, I hate puzzles. Oh, I mean, especially if there's not like a, a way to to answer it, but like there's no way to tell what it's, what's right and wrong. Okay. We may have to do some editing if this is, if I don't complete this quick. Oh, first or not first, second try. Okay. See, those are the puzzles I like. All right, let's fight the actual gym leader now. Oh god, there's more people in here. Jesus. All right, let's get Nid Arena some XP then. You got to this room? How long did it take you? Uh, about 11 minutes. Uh, roughly 11 minutes. Ooh, purloin. Okay, good. It's not a high level. Soak up a little XP then. Man, we really gotta find us a uh, Moonstone. I hope we get one soon, because Nidal Queen was gonna be so nice to have. Ugh, that no XP though. Whew! Hopefully we can knock out this gym leader um, in this episode. Well, we're only at 12 minutes right now, so I think we should have a decent amount of time. We're progressing pretty quick with these gyms, too. We're already at uh, our fourth one. Um, about halfway there through the Nuzlocke. Oh, God, the 30 Houndoom? Yeah, go ahead and bite. Oh, God, the crit! Holy crap. Oh, my. Okay, Houndoom is not playing. He is not playing. Let's go ahead and uh, Poteon up. Let's go ahead and heal up. Okay, I'm cool with that. Wait, what? Oh. I still didn't do anything. Okay, I'm fine with it. Houndoom Leopard's attack. I guess it's like all your surviving Pokemon get to attack with beat up. Oh, that's one of those moves I've never really used. Well, get up out of here, Houndoom. Get up out of here. And I like Houndoom, though. I actually just breeded a... Bread. Breeded. Whatever. Um, a shiny Houndor a while back. Um, got perfect IVs, too, on it. It's pretty cool. Um, which, that reminds me, too, the, for the question of the day... Uh, my favorite thing to do in Pokemon, um, I'd probably say, I like a lot of it, like, I do, breeding is super annoying after a while, but I do enjoy it sometimes, just kind of like, uh, just, cause I, I usually go for shiny breeding, I don't usually, breeding for uh, IVs and stuff doesn't take too long for me, but breeding for shinies, it's, it's just a rewarding experience when you do finally get the shiny. But I think my favorite thing, of course, is battling. Uh, I love like fighting people online and battling with my friends and stuff like that. Like, uh, if you haven't seen the episode where uh, I fought Topside, definitely should go check it out. Uh, we had a great battle there, and I'm hoping to do some more soon. I'm probably going to um, upload some more, uh, another battle or two, probably this week for our Wi-Fi battles. Um, I'm probably going to battle Top Topside again. He's uh, my roommate, so. Um, we'll probably see some a decent amount of content from him with battles and stuff like that, doing some stuff with me on the channel. Um, oh god, Sableye's uh, not good for us. Not good for us. Um, yeah, uh, I love battling. Though. I hope to battle a lot of you guys that maybe on like Wi-Fi battles and stuff. But definitely, uh, when I get Sun and Moon and we uh, get settled in with on there, we can uh, do some battles and stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and heal up. I don't want to risk being that low health. I'm really excited for the battle royales and stuff too, though. That's gonna be fun uh, doing like the free for alls and stuff like that. Cause I know a lot of like uh, popular YouTubers do like the free for alls where you just uh, kind of do two v twos and stuff, where you hit each other. But it'll be cool to actually have like a full dedicated um, kind of free for all option with battle royales. So I'm definitely excited for that. All right, let's get the Sableye out here. 
Did he have another Pokemon? I didn't really pay attention. I think he has one more. Uh, nope, he's out. I'm not holding any cards, just Pokeballs. Alrighty. Thanks for that info. Alright, find our last trainer before we fight Garrick. This is Garrick's wingman. Oh, snap. And he's a rich boy. Rich boy Rutger. Rutger. But are you ready for the Elizabeth? The almighty Nidorina. I like Murkrow, too. God, just second gym was so nice. They had some of the best Pokemon designs. Arguably, argu arguably the best. Um, what's your guys' favorite gen? I feel like I asked that in the question today once, but um, yeah, if you didn't, uh, if you missed that episode or didn't get to answer, you definitely should, because that's such a, it's so cool to hear people's ideas on and thoughts about why they prefer certain gens and stuff, and why it's their favorite. Uh, I'm not getting toxic spikes. We're not playing OU right now. We're playing just a casual Nuzlocke. Bring out the Haunch Crow. We are going to bring in our Oak so we can just give him a Rock Slide. Give him the Rock Slidity. This guy's really not. He's only level 27 on the Wingman, so I'm thinking maybe the Garrick's like highest poke might be 34, 35-ish, but hopefully he's not too far ahead of us. But we're doing pretty good so far, though. I mean, um, who crawled on it? No, we are out of there. Uh, we're doing really good, though, so far. We've got a... Uh, we haven't really had much trouble in this gym yet. Just the only problem is going to be if he has a uh, Houndoom, because Houndoom is, is really tough. <laughs> Drop the seeds. It'd be nice if we could have got our chestnut um, before we fought the final guy. He never needs me, though. Aw, oh, poor thing. Let's see. Alright, we are about to take on the fourth gym. Um, we're looking pretty good on our health. Um, let's just go ahead and go for it. Let's go ahead and I'm going to save. Um, yes. Okay. Hold on, guys. I'm going to manually save. Might not hear any audio for a second. Alright, had to make a save state froze, so uh, we're back now. Uh, I load, I'm really glad I saved here, actually, because um, we would have had a lot of problems if we didn't. I had to have done this whole freaking episode over again. Um, so we are ready to fight. I'm ready to fight the Garrett guy. Um, so I know he has a Zoru as his first Pokemon, because I got to see that before I noticed OBS was frozen. Uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and heal both Oak and Elizabeth up. And. We're going to go ahead and get started. You're the trainer with the Zoru egg, right? Okay, so... Oh, yeah, I'm reading that. So, um, yeah, when I started the battle, it uh, we find out the Zoru egg is actually... Um, it's actually a Zoru egg. It's not a Togepi egg. So, um, we're actually going to get Zoru, which is awesome, because I love Zoroark. He's, um, he's probably... Probably top 10, top 15-ish, but he's definitely up there. He's definitely my favorite Pokemon. I love Zoroark. Um, so let's go ahead and fight Garrick here. So Zorua, I noticed this too. Uh, Zorua has traits instead of illusion. Uh, I'm thinking they did the developers did that probably because it would have been hard to incorporate illusion into the uh, the ROM hack. Um, so let's go ahead and knock out this here Zorua. Get him up on out of here. Alright, he is gone. Alright, so he's got a Zoroark next. Uh, let's go ahead and bring in Spike. Let's see him drop a Drain Punch on him. Oh, God, 37? Holy crap. Holy crap, okay. Oh, God, this is gonna hurt. Oh, oh god. At least I'm going to get a lot of this back with a Drain Punch, though, I think. God, that did nothing. Holy crap. Alright, we're going to have to Super Potion Spike. Please don't Dark Pulse again. Okay, good, he Hyper Potion. Cool. I'm fine with that. We'll go ahead and heal up. Let's try this again. 
Let's go ahead and try this again. Oh, copycat. <laughs> I'm fine with that. Go ahead and copy all you want. Copy all you want. Let's see. Alright, let's go ahead and seed bomb, finish him off. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Keep copycat, man. Just keep on. I am completely fine with that. I am totally fine with that. Alright, sweet. Spiking's at 36. Alright, so we should be able to get our chestnut now. He's got a Greninja. Oh, crap. Oh, that sprite looks pretty sweet. Alright, I am... I'm really weary about this because... Because he may have Ice Beam. I feel like he wouldn't switch in because if he did. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, Quilladen, you're the real MVP, my dude! <laughs> I can't believe you lived on 21, holy crap! Oh my, Lanta, you the real MVP, we are getting you out of there, you have earned your stripes, sir. You've earned your stripes for the day. Holy crap. I cannot believe Quillad lived that ice beam. If he had protein though, he would have he would have been down, but God. I cannot believe he lived that. Holy crap. Alright, he's got a Weavile. Let's go ahead and rock slide him. That should probably take him out. Oh yeah, that's he is gone. God, I cannot believe we took that ice beam though. God, Quillon, you're the real MVP. Alrighty, so we knocked out the Weavile. His last Pokemon is Haunchcrow. I'm um, totally fine with that. You are going to eat this rock slide. You are going to absolutely eat it. Get your Dark Pulse out of here. Get that out of here. You can take these rocks. Take these rocks. Alright, sweet. So that really wasn't too bad. Um, I thought he was going to be a lot more difficult than that, but we breezed through it. You're very talented. That Zeru is in good hands. Perceive the miss badge. What? Sweet. All right, that is our fourth gym badge now. Very awesome. And our spike is evolving. Oh yeah, gonna finally get our chestnut. It's about time. It's about freaking time. Damn, look at him. It looks freaking awesome in the sprite. What, no moves? Dang. The Mist Badge makes Pokemon to level 50 obey you. I also let you use the move Surf outside of battle, and this is a gift from me. Team 49. That type of machine contains Dark Poles. The damage your opponent makes opponents and may also cause them to flinch. Very nice. Alright, so we have snagged our fourth gym now. Um... So we are about halfway through now. Uh, we just got four battles left and the Elite Four. Alrighty. Um, so let's go ahead. Um, let's see. With this episode, I started and it's been six minutes. And, not, and then um, I think we had about 12 or 13 before. Um, before I had to redo it because it froze up. 